name? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not, my name's Usher. Oh, what an odd name. Odd? Uh -huh. Oh, it's even. Look, M-U-S-H-E-R, six. Well, <laughs> good, uh, see you tomorrow, oh. Oscar. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Hi. Goodbye. Get to work. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure, sir. Cuckoo. Wasn't he funny? Imagine calling a bunch of sweetness like you, Oscar. Oh, but he was sort of nice, didn't you think, Oscar? Yeah. <laughs> One o'clock, girls. Time for lunch. I hereby promise to pay the Bellevue Orphanage for the support of a child a sum of $10. Each and every week. Hey! Hey! Oh, how can I give him $10 every week? I only make 20. Oh, listen, Marmaduke, it can't be done. Hey, what's the idea? Talking to a dummy, you dummy. The next thing you know, you'll be talking to yourself and walking into telegraph poles. You know that, don't you? All right, get out of here, will you? Nobody's seen me come in, nobody did. That's fine. If the boss catches you in here, we'll both get canned. Oh, go on. The <laughs> boss went out to lunch. He's out eating his. Hey, Willie, about that picnic tomorrow. I'm not gone. Will you get out of here, please? Well, if you don't take me, I'll go with Johnny Harris, I will. He's crazy to take me, Johnny, he is. <laughs> yeah, he must be. Yeah, go ahead. Go with Johnny. Hey, are you spurning me for another dame, are you? No, I gotta go out to the orphan's home tomorrow and buy the baby. A baby? How did you get mixed up with a baby? How did you? Uh -huh. Well, I was going to the bank, and I stopped to talk to a girl on the street. And, and now I... you got a baby on your hands. Wait a minute. You're thinking too fast. Look. I hereby promise to pay $10 a week. Per week? It can't be done, so I gotta go out there tomorrow and tell them it can't be done. Why do you have to go out there tomorrow and tell them it can't be done? Why do you have to? Because it can't be done. Look, I only make 20 bucks a week. Yeah. 20. Yeah. I have to give your mother five for my room. You'd better. And the stomach gets seven more. Yeah. Seven and five or... Eleven. Twelve. Twelve from 20 leaves eight, eight. see? A and you have to pay 10. Yeah. You know what I think? What? I think you ought to go out there tomorrow yeah. and tell him it can't be done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's a new idea. Will you get out of here before I crown you? And you, Marshal? Oh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, oh, I, I'm undressing the dummy, sir. Stand still, dummy. Don't let me interfere. I'll be here for some time, so go right on with your work. You want to get my idea? Come, come, my sir. Undress that dummy. Yes, sir. <laughs> You've been in this department for some time, haven't you? Oh, about a year. <laughs> Doing all right? Stand still. What'd you say? I say I'm standing still. <laughs> Now's your chance to go further. Oh. Wait a minute. You'd better take off those bloomers. <gasps> What's that? Uh, <laughs> I said no. It uh, never show through this slip. <laughs> I got the wrong slip on. Uh, 
Ouch! Did you say something? Oh, well, uh, I, I was just talking to the dummy. You know, I often talk to the dummy. Sort of a habit with me. You talk <laughs> to dummies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very funny. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you talk to the dummies. <laughs> and they can't answer you back. No, they can't say a word. <laughs> oh. Hello. Yes, this is Mr. Reisman. All right. I'll come at once. I could murder you. Wait till I get my hands on you, you, you dirty undressing you. Oh, now, now don't get excited. I saved your job for you, didn't how I? How did you save it, though? How did you save it? Tell me, I'll teach you, you. Marsha. <laughs> yeah? Come down to the office in a few minutes. There's a customer there with a complaint. You're all right. I'll never be the same. Sure, sure you will. Everything will be all right. Go ahead and get dressed. I'll, I'll turn my back. Why? I ain't got no secrets from you no more. How can you ever look me in the face again? Can you imagine, Marmaduke, me getting mixed up in the high society racket? Uh. Fanny will never know you now. Don't I'll know, because the brush will be dry. That's right. Oh. <laughs> well, what are you so happy about? <laughs> oh, I know. That nice young man we met yesterday is coming to see us this afternoon. Did you like him? Yeah! <laughs> I'll go and put your arm in. There we are. Now, we go. Oh, glad to see you. Hello. Mrs. Tennyson. I want you to meet Harvey Benson. Oh, 
do you do, Mr. Anderson? How do you do? I knew your father when he owned old Lim Wan Railroad. I've heard you speak of you. Really? I want you to know my fiance, Miss Oglethorpe. Oh, the Virginia Oglethorpe's, of course. How do you do? Well, you got here too, I see. Don't you want to meet Mrs. Tenite? She wouldn't know me. Then I'll introduce you. Mrs. Tenite. Pardon me. Yes, sir. I want you to meet Mr. Musher. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Uh... Musher? <laughs> One of the Brooklyn mushers. Oh, you're from Brooklyn. Uh, what part? Uh, all of it. <laughs> what an energetic young man. I'm so glad to know you, Mr. Musher. No, not Musher. Just plain Musher. <laughs> Emphasis on the mush. <laughs> Uh, who do I go to see about this here, Mrs. Yeah. Tenai? Oh, you're one of those adorable young men who's going to bring up a baby. Yeah, yeah but I want to talk to him. You pay today to pick out the baby. My baby? Yes, the little angel that you're going to support. Stand still, honey. You must look nice today. How do you know that nice young man might even adopt you? You mustn't be so bashful. This is a nursery. Isn't it sweet? My goodness. You must have a lot of babies. Where'd they all come from? Why, well, really, Mr. Musher, I couldn't say. Oh, here's an adorable child. Angel, see the nice man I brought you? Speak to him. What'll I say? What's his name? Anything. Oh. Hello, anything. Ah, my young man. How are you, kid? <laughs> he doesn't seem to speak my language. I'll speak his. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's all right. Children will be children. Darling, you mustn't break the man's cane. Maybe you prefer the one in this crib. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Isn't she angelic? Oh, she's cute. Coochie, coochie, coo. Hello, little sweetheart. Give me a kiss. Oh, I'll give you a penny for a kiss. I get more than that for taking cast oil. Oh. Why don't you make her your ward? Oh, I'm afraid she'd be too expensive. Anyway, I don't want a ward. That's why I came out here today. You see, when I signed this slip, I didn't understand. One, two. I'm sorry. You'll have to take that matter up with Mrs. Tenney. But listen, I was. Hey, you. What do you think you're doing, you little? Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Cute little fella. Well, I managed to get here. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> you know, it's a beautiful place you have here. <laughs> yes, it's so peaceful. <laughs> yeah, so I noticed. Will you stop it? Oh, uh, run away like a nice boy and play with your marbles. Go ahead. Yeah, and don't swallow any. <laughs> well, well, if it is an Oscar. <laughs> you remember Mr. Musher, darling? Say hello, Mr. Musher. Hello, Mr. Mush. Oh. <laughs> he thinks I'm a cereal. Never mind the Mr. Stuff. This is Uncle Willie speaking. <laughs> you know, I think it's marvelous of you to provide for a baby you know nothing about. Gee, it must be a tremendous satisfaction spending your money to bring up an angel like Oscar, for instance. Yeah, but well, that's, that's what I want to see about. Oh, I think it's wonderful. Uh, yeah? Mm-hmm. But... How long have you been interested in orphans? Oh, all my life. You see, I, I used to be an orphan myself. You? Uh-huh. I was brought up in a home. Nothing like this home. And they didn't have any nurses there like the ones they have here. <laughs> or I wouldn't have run away. Oh, you ran away? Uh-huh. What did you do? I went to work. You did? How old were you? Oh, about 15. Oh, and you've worked ever since, huh? Uh-huh. Uh, that is, on and off. Gee, you know... I think you're awfully romantic. Me? Romantic? Mm-hmm. You're just like a hero in a novel. All alone in the world, working hard, finally becoming rich and successful. Tell me, how did you make your first big money? Oh, my, my first big money. Uh-huh. Uh, what gave you your start? Uh, well, let me see now. Uh, a taxi cab. A taxi cab? Yeah. You see, it was a question of backing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>